the welterweight division because we have a bit of a guest coming to join us. There he is, as you can see him on our screens, the one and only Rocky Edwards. Leon, how are you, mate? You good? I am very well, brother. How are you? Boys, you good? Very well indeed. We're all good, mate. We're all good. We're looking forward to some fights this evening. That's what we're looking forward to, pal. Um, now, listen, last weekend, Gilbert Burns takes on Tyron Woodley. Talk me through the emotions of watching that fight. What were you feeling as it was going down? I was watching it thinking, uh, no wonder why, why he was ducking me and why he was making all, all these excuses not to fight me. You know what I mean? And I was, I was looking, looking at it thinking, oh, God, uh, if that was me, I, I, I would have killed him. You know what I mean? So I, I understand why he, he went running and... So it is what it is. Um, I can't wait to get back in there and get active again. Well, what is the latest with you? Because I, I, obviously watching that last weekend, that was supposed to be your fight, UFC London. That's what it was scheduled for. Everything that happened with the pandemic and travel restrictions and what have you uh, stopped that fight from happening. Gilbert Burns stepped in and took the Tyron Woodley fight. So what's next for you? Obviously, we're hearing a lot of fighters getting matched up now for Fight Island. Have you had that conversation? Um, they... I will try and get to the title shot. Um I I'm in talks now with the UFC to try and get to the title shot and um it seemed close because I know they can't get Mastodol and, and Usman done, so I feel like I'll be next in the in the in the title shot, hopefully um August uh, if they if they um allow it. So um more one hearing it's gonna be title shot, so let's see. Have you had that conversation this week? I I'm only asking you that because off the back of a few things that I've watched with with Dana White this week, he's obviously been referring to Gilbert Burns as being the guy that is the front runner to get the shot at Usman if it's not going to be Masvidal. So, how far down the line are your conversations? Um, I, the, the phone me said I would, would I be up for it. I said 100. percent Give me enough time to um, get my weight down, get ready. I'll be, I'll be more than willing to step in and, and compete against, against Usman. You know what I mean? So, it, it's in talks, but I think they're still trying to make the Masvidal fight. I think they're trying to like, like what I've heard, they're not paying. They don't want to pay the money, so. I feel like I'm ready to go in August. August. You're ready to go in August. So if yeah. it isn't Usman, let's say something else happens in that yeah. period of time, if it's not going to be Usman, will you fight? Will you fight a Gilbert Burns, a, um, uh, a, Col a Colby Covington or something like that? Or will you hang on for your shot at the time? Nah, I, I want to compete. I am young. I'm 28 years old, you know what I mean? So I, I, I truly believe I am better than everyone in the top five. So um, I, I want to compete at summertime, August, September. Um, go there. Listen, what do you make of the welterweight rankings? When you woke up on Monday morning, now I know that there's loads of different thought processes of how these welterweight rankings get put together, but you're on a tear at the moment, mate. Eight undefeated, absolutely flying in this division, and the guy above you um, is coming off the back of two losses, and they're not just two I losses, up, they're quite two dominant losses, aren't they? I woke up on Monday morning, I thought, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> <laughs> his last two fights, right? He fought 10 rounds. He got dominated 10, 10, 10 rounds. Um, like 10, 8 rounds and, and everything. And I, I couldn't believe when I woke up and I saw that they, they put me, um, put, put Woodley above me. I was like, what the fuck is happening? You know what I mean? And but look, like I said, I truly believe that I am better than Gilbert, Colby, George, Woodley, all of them above me. I am, I, 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 I truly believe I am better and I cannot wait to prove it. Why do you think that you're not getting the credit, Leon? Why, why, why do you think that you're not further up them rankings? Because if you look at actual streaks right now, you're second to Usman with the most amount of consecutive victories. Um, I, I could not tell you. I, I, I stress and about it all the time and think uh, what, what, what the reason is, you know what I mean? But I, I, I could not tell you what happened. They're saying it's because of decisions, they're saying it's because of that, it's because of this. And I just keep doing, doing, doing what I'm doing. I am dominating these elite fighters time and time again. Yeah, one of the hardest division in the sport, you know what I mean? So, um, I keep doing my thing, keep proving my case, and uh, I'll be world champion come 2020, end of 2020. Dan, I, Dan, I just want to bring you in for a minute on this. Obviously, as a, a guy that's been there, done that, and got the t shirt, did you pay much attention whilst you were fighting to any rankings that were about? Um, I, I mean, not really, no. I, 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 I was kind of I was given an opportunity that uh, that was really. Mike Swicks. I mean, I, I kind of jumped the line a little bit. Um, I, the, the difference is, you know, Leon's paid his dues and he's, uh, you know, definitely overdue a title shot. Um, it, it's a very different circumstance. I can't imagine his frustration. My shot was kind of surprised me, to be honest. It was, you know, four fights into my career, whereas, you know, Leon's put the work in and has got the credentials to back him up and, and it definitely deserves that shot. So during this period, Leon, as we're waiting for yeah. maybe mid-August... 
How are you keeping ticking over, man? Because sparring's difficult because of obviously the uh, the, re the restrictions yeah. with COVID nineteen. Not a lot of the gyms are open right now. So how yeah. are you ticking over, mate? Is it just basically road work? Yeah, at the moment just um, road work. I got a little gym in my garage. I've been um, doing a bit of lifting. Um, I got air done bike. I've been doing a bit of cardio. That's about it, really. Um, I know that I spoke to my my team this week. Um, saying if we get if we get a fight booked, would I be able to get back into the gym? And I know that one of my teammates got matched up for Far Island, and at the moment they got like, like four or five people working with him in the gym. So I'm sure if we got a fight booked, I should be able to get a team together and um, compete. Hmm. Obviously, the world's in a, a quite weird political place at this moment in time. Everything that happened over in America recently with uh, George Floyd has uh, inspired protests and march here in the, in the UK. And I noticed that you uh, took to the streets uh, of Birmingham quite recently yep. as well uh, to join those marches. Talk us through it, man, because it looked quite peaceful. I know that there's a lot of reports for various other cities that might have just not yeah, yeah. a touch, but in Birmingham, it looked very peaceful. Yeah, exactly. Um, it was, I think like 4,000 plus people in um, I remember when, when, when I went there, because obviously it's in the news, all that negative, negative, negative. And I went there and thought, oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna, to um, kick off. And literally it was peaceful, all, all different races, um, ages. And it was a very, very emotional time to be there and to see everyone sticking together and pushing for the same cause, you know what I mean? So um, I, I was stunned by this Black Lives Matter um, all the way through and it's, it's very peaceful. Well, top man. Well, thank you very much uh, for joining us this evening. Uh, stay up, watch a few fights. Which one are you looking forward to the most? But uh, quickly before we, uh, I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to the main event. two fifty. I'm looking forward to the main event. Like she, I think she's a goat of goats, right? Because everyone you consider great, she's beat all the great girls. So I, I'm looking forward to the main event. Yeah. Well, top man. Well, enjoy that, mate. Nice one. Thank you yeah. very much. We're looking forward to seeing yeah. you back in the octagon sometime soon.